New Orleans Saints on the road again this week. Playoff season basically starts now, who day? They're in Tampa Bay for a New Year's Eve bash with the Buccaneers, who roll into this game on a four-game win streak. Intercepted and picked off by White. Devin White gets the ball. Ingram brings him down. Tampa Bay isn't just the leaders of the NFC South anymore. They have put everyone on notice. At home with Baker is back. Over 280 yards last week versus Jacksonville. Two touchdowns, no picks, a rating over 115. Dropping back to throw, maybe throws a far throw. Caught ball! Mike Evans! Touchdown, Tampa Bay! Fire the cannons! Baker has played A-plus ball two straight games. Both his touchdowns last week landed in the hands of Mike Evans, over 85 yards. Mayfield throws toward the end zone. Caught ball! Mike Evans! Touchdown, Tampa Bay! Evans has two today! Merry Christmas, Michael! Evans has been as consistent as always, but Baker's recent two-game upswing has been due to getting back in sync with Chris Godwin. He's been at the heart of Mayfield's recent success. He went for six catches, 78 yards last week versus Jacksonville. Those the full sideline rack. Caught ball at the 20-yard line! It is Chris Godwin with a huge over-the-shoulder catch! Godwin and Mayfield both had big games versus the Saints secondary already once this season, too. Godwin went for over 100 yards, Mayfield went for three touchdowns, a rating over 115. The Buccaneers won 26-9. Mayfield floating it for Palmer, the rookie! Trey Palmer hauls it in for a Buccaneer touchdown! And New Orleans normally stout defense didn't fare great last week either. They have stellar numbers against the pass for the season, but they gave up two touchdowns, didn't pick off Matthew Stafford once, gave up over 325 yards to him, a rating over 120. They gave up over 140 yards to Puka Nakua. So it's third and inches, and they pick up the first down and a lot more, and Nakua down the sideline he goes before he steps out of bounds. And they also gave up 4.7 a carry to Kyron Williams, over 100 yards on the ground to him. Again, again, touchdown. Now they take on Rashad White, who scored last week over 70 scrimmage yards. He's another Alvin Kamara type at this point. Running to the right is, of course, Rashad White. He's to the 10, to the 9-yard line. Speaking of Kamara, Saints got almost nothing from him in their loss to L.A. He's hit and miss for them. And so is Derek Carr. On paper versus the Rams, good game. Three touchdowns, only one pick. 319 yards passing, a rating over 105. Going for it all, and it's caught. A.T. Perry, his first catch of the night. Touchdown. Raiders fans will tell you, that's Carr. He's a good box score quarterback. Has to be able to put those numbers up at the right moments this week. He didn't when he faced the Bucks defense the first time. Just 127 yards, a rating under 70. Carr, airing it out deep. Olave is back there. Knocked away in the end zone. What a play from Winfield. That's what Winfield is everywhere today. Chris Olave only had four yards versus Tampa Bay. He came back last week after missing a game, went for 123 yards. Carr has protection, fires over the middle, that's caught Olave. will take it into Rams territory. Bucks DBs also have to contend with Rashid Shahid's speed. Five catches, 70 yards, and a TD. Carr, time, deep, going deep and open and making the catch. Shahid for the touchdown. Buccaneers did give up two TDs to Calvin Ridley last week, 90 yards, but they also picked off Trevor Lawrence twice, held him to one touchdown, a sub-65 rating, only 211 yards. Intercepted on the play, Winfield caught it, scoops it up, a second interception thrown. Tampa Bay 4-3 at home, New Orleans 3-5 as a road team. Bucks could lock up the division and a playoff spot with a win and an Atlanta loss. Saints have to win out and hope. Get the comments section cooking. Panel of 10 cooked up some scores. Have a happy New Year's, my friends.